In Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, the Apostle Paul presents to us two important things that we need to offer to God if you want to make it to heaven. In our previous lesson, we looked at the first one, and that is, we must offer our bodies as living sacrifices. If you want to be a successful Christian, then don't present your bodies to the world. Do not allow the enemy to use your body for what you want. Let it be a sacrifice. Why? Because God sent his own son and his son became a sacrifice for our sins. Today we want to look at the second thing and that is found in verse 2 of Romans chapter 12. The Apostle Paul says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. God's word says that in these last days, if you want to be able to grow in him, if you want to be able to succeed and live faithful lives, then apart from presenting our bodies to him as living sacrifice, the second thing that we must do is that we must not conform to the standard of the world, but rather there must be a mind transformation. There must be a mind renewer. Once we renew our mind, our entire being will transform. So Paul says, do not conform to the pattern. That is, do not conform to the taste of the world. Don't follow the trend of the world. Don't follow what is up in the world. Don't follow what everybody is doing. Because the Bible says, do not follow the multitude you sin. Everybody is doing it. It doesn't mean you have to do it as a Christian. Do not conform to the pattern of the world, but rather be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We ought to change our mind. The Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. Have the mind of Christ, a humble mind, a mind that did not seek the things of the world, a mind that looked at everybody as a child of God, a mind that was obedient to the word of God. Be you transformed. Let your mind be renewed. Today, ask God to grant you the power of the Holy Spirit so that your mind will be different. You see, you can buy a new car. You can have a new you can have a new job, a better paid job than what you have now. You can change everything in your life. But if you do not change your mind, your life will be the same. In the same way, you can change your church. You can have preachers surrounding you. But if your mind is not renewed, your life will be the same. You will not experience any transformation. God says, change your mind and your entire being will change. And that would help you to know the will of God and live according to the will of God. May God bless you today. May he equip you with the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit so that you can experience a mind transformation in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.